This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Audible. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rettinger's Risk, formerly called Rettinger's Rants, because I'm just not that angry anymore. I don't have that stuff to yell about. I'm a father now. I've mellowed. Up this week on Riffs, I want to kind of have a talk with you guys and tell you what's going on here at Tecto Buffalo camera wise. I got a lot of questions about gear, what I think we're doing, what we might be doing, what we're probably going to be ordering to help upgrade all of our kit. This is Rettinger's Riffs. Let's start getting rifty. So another show that we have here on Techno Buffalo is Ask the Buffalo. People can ask any question that they want to ask about the site, the company, me, whatever. We usually answer four or five questions. Every week though I get questions about our gear, what we use to film with, what lenses we use, and everything. Um, so I've answered it before, but right now we are filming with a Canon C100. Uh, we upgraded from a Canon 5D Mark III and a 5D Mark II before then. We actually got robbed like a year ago, and our 5D Mark II and our Mark III got stolen. We replace it with another Mark III. Anyway, but now we're on the Canon C100. That's a story for a totally another day. Uh, so we're filming on a Canon C100, which has been great. We've been using it for not even that long, probably about six to eight months. Uh, and I love the camera. Uh, I love having sort of a film first camera. I don't do any of the camera work. Uh, that's Ron and Ralph. But at least from what I see, it looks like it's way, way easier. All I see is really just the lens sort of staring back at me. Um, and it's been really good for us, and I think Canon has worked out very well. All of our lensing is all Canon with their EF mounts. Uh, but things are changing very quickly. The world wants more Ks. They want more Ks faster, and uh, things are going sort of trending towards 4K. And I've always said, let's hold off on 4K uh, until there are 4K monitors. You know, I'm not, I don't sort of run the business just buy every you know, camera out there to review it. We don't really review that many cameras here at Techno Buffalo anyway. So what we buy, I want to make sure we can use. And there aren't that many 4K monitors out there. They're really expensive. And I really wasn't sure it was the right time to go uh, 4K. Um, so we started looking about what 4K stuff was out there. And things started to get less expensive and more options started to come out. Um, you know, you've got Panasonic's GH4, their Micro Four Thirds 4K camera, which is just a teeny tiny little body. And it's incredibly awesome uh, what it can do. Uh, Canon, of course, has their stupid expensive C500 coming in at $20,000, which, fun fact, same sensor in the C100, the C300, and the C500, get a little better electronic viewfinder and some other options, but really, Canon, difference is it's a $5,000 for the C100 versus 20 for the, it's so crazy. That wasn't even an option we were considering. Uh, we looked at things like the red, scarlet, you know, which is certainly awesome, but the thing about red that I found is it is it's so modular, you can't just pop in an SD card or pop in an SSD. You gotta buy the red kind of hard drive memory module. It's not got to go into the red card reader. Even when you just buy a red camera, then you gotta buy a grip to put the battery in. Then you gotta buy another battery to swap it out with. Then you gotta buy the red battery charger. And it gets absolutely crazy. And aside from all that kind of crazy proprietary business, it records in RAW, which is a little bit on the difficult side to work with, especially for what we do. You know, RAW wouldn't make much sense, uh, I don't think, for us. Uh, then we started looking at other cameras if we want to decide to go 4K. Uh, we started looking at stuff from Black Magic, which you can just make some audio components. And they're now making cameras. They're making pretty awesome cameras. So this is kind of the whole point of the video. I know it took a while to get here. We're thinking about going 4K, and here's what I'm thinking we're going to do. I sort of like to share behind the scenes stuff, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, so first thing, do you think 4K matters? Um, you probably don't have a 4K monitor. I don't have a 4K monitor. Uh, but I will say I'm interested in doing 4K because I think it'd be kind of cool to do sort of zoom and crop. Uh, if you take 4K footage and you do it at 1080p, you can actually zoom in. I don't get any sort of loss uh, at all. So you can almost like look like you have two cameras. Like I'd be like, hey, I'm talking about one topic. And then boom, sort of a quick crop and zoom in. Looks like I'm talking about something different. You can do a lot more. I also think that 4K footage shot at 4K but compressed down to 1080p looks way better than 1080p footage shot at just 1080p. And of course, you can always upload uh, in 4K. So usually we shoot with two cameras. We've got the C100 I mentioned is our main camera. We do unboxings. We've got a setup where a camera shoots straight down and we use a Canon 60D for that. So we're looking at stuff from Blackmagic that was sort of on the more affordable side. We said, okay, the Blackmagic Cinema 4K camera looks pretty awesome. It's a big kind of hulking square rectangle type thing. Uh, and the best part, it's got Canon EF lens mount on it and it looks pretty awesome. But there's some downsides with the two. It's got no XLR uh, audio ports. Um, it doesn't have that many ISO settings. Uh, it doesn't have phantom power for those XLR ports. So kind of other sort of drawbacks. We thought it might be a really good camera to sort of use to go for our straight down shots uh, when it comes to unboxing. But of course we need another camera and having 
sort of one camera 4K and one not, it's not gonna work well, or have a Canon camera shooting with a black magic, it's just not gonna look the same because uh, the sensors sort of shoot things very differently. It takes a lot of work in post to make sure these sort of colors kind of match. And Ron's already got enough on his plate. Uh, I didn't want to add that to him. He's, he's nodding off camera, you can't see, but he is. It would be a lot of work. Let me stop talking about 4Ks and multiple Ks for a minute to thank our friends at audible.com. Listen, you probably know Audible right now. They are the world's leader in spoken word entertainment. You could download any book you've been wanting to catch up on. If let's say you like romance and you don't want anybody to judge you reading your book out in public, download that sucker, put your headphones on, sit under the tree and reminisce about I don't even want to say what you should reminisce about. If you like mystery, you can get your mystery on. If you like fiction, fiction, if you want to catch up on the Steve Jobs biography by Walter Isaacson, it's a great chance to do it. You can read them when you're walking, when you're in the gym, in the car, they can be read right to you through your ear holes, into your brain, and then you will sound educated at parties, which is pretty awesome. Uh, go to audiblepodcast.com slash techno to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up. Again, that is audiblepodcast.com slash techno. Get your free audiobook and sound smarter. Is that okay? If we want to try going black magic, let's go to black magic. So we want to go to cinema cameras, which could definitely work. You have to get a ton of proprietary parts to make it work. Or they've got a camera they just announced at NAB called the Ursa, which look at the thing right now. It is just crazy looking. It's got a 10 inch touchscreen on it. Um, it's got its own built in audio controls, which a cinema camera doesn't, which is kind of weird. No audio controls in the camera. Uh, if you want to adjust levels on the fly, you just can't do that. You gotta adjust levels before you film and then hope no one's voice to go up or down. If you've watched my videos, you know my voice goes up and down like crazy. So we are thinking about going on the 4K bandwagon and I'm thinking we might go either two cinema cameras with crazy other accessories or go cinema camera and the Ursa uh, and sort of upgrade everything at once and hope it lasts us for many years. The Ursa is also modular and upgradable uh, similar to what the Red is. You, know, you can upgrade the Red to the brain, upgrade it to different kind of camera options that they have. Um, Blackmagic is kind of doing the same thing. So that's the direction that we're thinking about going. I wonder if you guys care about 4K. Are we sort of spinning our wheels at all? Is it the perception of, oh, you have to shooting with 4K as people think you know, you're a big deal or not? I don't know. I just want to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, this is kind of the show where we get a chance to just talk kind of one-on-one. I just want to hear if you think you care. You care, you don't care. Uh, again, if you guys want to add anything or think there's another camera we missed, we talked about the Sonys um, as well, but I'd just love to hear your thoughts. I'll leave in the comments down below. Uh, we'll be back next week with normal riffy episodes where I'm talking about things in my mind. But I just wanted to share this sort of story with you guys and get your opinion on it. It's a great way to just chat to the audience. Anyway, guys, of course, check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Until then, I'm John Rettinger. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. So Blackmagic also has a cinema camera. They also have the production camera. The cinema is 2.5K. The production is 4K. There are just so many names. I might have intermixed them, but just know I'm talking about 4K. I'm talking about the production and I might have said cinema, so don't just yell at me, call me a jerk face. I can make mistakes too. What's up everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.